What's going on guys? Welcome back to Crazy Scale Models. Uh, today we're just going to do a, uh, a short update and I gotta be honest with you guys. On a build that I did, it was the first um, official completed car on this channel. Um, and that is involving this kit right here. The 1967 GTO. Um, I did a group build, which technically isn't done until July 6th, on the uh, Luca C Hobby Headquarters uh, official YouTube, uh, not YouTube, that's his channel, um, Facebook page. And uh, yeah, let me grab it real quick. All right, this one right here, Duramax Swapped GTO. Now, best work I've done no definitely not um paint work i apparently rushed it it's not very great like there's a lot of things i should have done differently uh the biggest thing which is where i'm going to be honest is the duramax gto is cool yes but i don't feel that it actually met the i want to say guidelines for the group build i know it's a build your interpretation, but you're supposed to take a kit that everybody hates on and do what you can with it. And I mean, I made a cool car. I used the Duramax engine, Allison transmission. I used a different chassis, different wheels, made my own center console. Like I literally used the interior tub, seats, dash, body. And very little bit of the actual chassis that came with the kit. I mean, my interpretation, yeah, cool, yeah. Honestly, to me, I didn't fulfill the obligations of the build. So, that being said, I have another kit. I bought two kits. I'm going to build another one before July 6th. Be number two. This one I'm going to keep mostly stock. Probably even use the wheels that came with the kit. Might lower it a little bit. And I ordered, for my Iceman collections, I ordered a uh, Tri-Power Pontiac engine. I'm not sure if it's actually from this era. Um, I wasn't even a twinkle in my dad's eyes in 1967. But I think it'll look cool in it. And it'll be more period correct than shoving a more modern Duramax in it. So that's what I'm going to do. Build number two. Everything will be on this channel. Um, build it together. This one should be... I'll be happy. I'll spend a little more time on the paintwork. Uh, figure out what I did wrong with this other one. Which, I don't know. So, um, that's the big thing that I wanted to bring up. And then tomorrow being Valentine's Day. Um, it's my birthday. So we're not allowed to celebrate Valentine's Day tomorrow. So we're celebrating it today. Um, my wife got me. Tamaya. Or Tamiya, however you say it. Um, RX-7. I've been wanting that model for a while. So she got me that. Um, then I'll get something tomorrow for my birthday. whoop de doo Don't really care. Another year older. Um... But then a guy at work, not for my birthday, just because I asked him to, he made me a couple uh, paint displays to save me some desk space. I'm going to show you guys that. All right, guys. So this is what I was rocking for uh, holding my paint. I can get my Kratex up here. My Vallejo's here, which I didn't have that many Vallejo's. I don't have that many Kratex. Well, I have enough Kratex to fill probably half of this up if these were bigger. Um, but I found some things on a, I think it was Thingiverse or whatever that he uh, had me look through, and I'll show you those. There they are, guys. I got one for Vallejo. Got one for my Createx. Put some up top. I have extras in my uh, primers and um, some other bigger bottles there. But that's definitely saved me. Because literally from there back, that was all paint. And now I have a little bit more room. I need to figure something out to do with uh, that contraption there. Do something a little bit uh, closer to the wall. Free up a little more space here. So, yeah, guys, so we're going to do another GTO. Uh, this one is going to be more, more 
box stock ish. Still gonna do some things to it that my my flare, um, different motor because I always do a different motor. I can't stand these motors that come in the box. They're great. I just like more detail, and I can buy a motor with more detail and hang on to these. So at a later date, if I need to use one of these, I have them. Primarily, I just want something that's a little nicer. Because if I'm gonna put this much time in the body work, and then I'm gonna have an extremely nice motor. Just my opinion, though. I don't harp on anybody for how they build them. It's just uh, just what I want to do. So we're going to take this and make another one for the build that actually, to me, builds the build guidelines. Because I know it's kind of an open build, but I feel like if I'm supposed to use a kit to show what I can do with the kit that has problems, I should use the kit not replace 60% of the parts, 70% of the parts. So this time we'll just swap the motor. We'll see about the wheels. I want to use the wheels that are in the kit, but I don't know if I can bring myself to do it. I might find some more period correct, like maybe some Kragers or something. I don't know. We'll see as we go on. Um, see, so yeah, I'll get a video to go on soon here. We'll get this, uh, Get this open. Well, the box is already open, but we'll get everything opened up, go through it, make sure there's nothing twisted, and we'll get hammering away on it. So, um, until the next one, guys, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, uh, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think about anything I've talked about. Um, let me know your opinions on the GTO kit. Um, if you guys are doing the uh, Lucas he build off as well, cool. Hope everybody enjoys it. So, um, yeah, from Crazy Scale Models, have a great Valentine's Day, guys, and see you in the next one. Keep on building.